Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. Today's video, I have the Military Surplus number 16. Uh, last video, I forgot to mention that. That was supposed to be the Military Surplus uh, number uh, 15, but I put it in the, the uh, title of the video. But today, guys, I'm going to go over Woodland BDUs in the M81 camo pattern. Okay, guys, but I have two jackets, and we're going to get in the, right here. Here's the other one. We're going to get into the differences of them. And, um, you know, what I think. So, this one was actually owned by somebody that was in the Army. Because I bought it at a yard sale. And I bought pants that he had with this set. But, um, you know, they they got holes in them. So, I had to get rid of them. I've got some uh, True Spec BDU pants coming from eBay. Long story story short, I bought a pair on eBay. And they were super faded. And the tan almost looked white. So, I'm getting rid of them. But anyways, guys, back to this little review. This jacket it is is pretty used. I mean, it's got fraying on the cuffs here and, uh, you know, like on the neck. But the thing is super duper comfortable. Okay, and we're going to get into this jacket. The camo pattern on this thing is still awesome. The green is really, really bright. Okay, this is military issue. It says size medium long right here, okay, on the tag. Size medium long, okay, it is coat, hot weather, woodland, camouflage pattern, combat, okay, it's got the 100% cotton, American Apparel Incorporated, okay, and it's got the care instructions on there, okay, and this is rip stop material, I can tell by all the lines that are actually in the fabric, you guys can tell this is rip stop material, this is the camo pattern that I got when I was a young kid. All of us boys grew up with it, wore it around hunting. I've hunted squirrels with this thing. I like to roll the sleeves up, quarter sleeve. Okay. And um, it holds a lot of shotgun shells, 22 shells, things like that. Okay. On the jacket itself, guys, there is a. There are four main pockets on the, the jacket itself. Okay. Um, you know, one, two, um, three, and four. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, they all have buttons. They're, everything on this jacket is buttoned up. There's five buttons on the... Um, or four buttons, I'm sorry. Five. Yeah, because it's got one on the collar. Um, on the jacket itself. Really nice buttonholes. It's got a, a dust cover flap for your your uh, your buttons there. Okay. Still a really nice usable jacket. I mean, yeah, it's it's got a patch that says U.S. Army on it. I never did take that off. I think I got it at a yard too. Either way, I only wear this thing hunting. Um, reinforced elbows, really, really nice reinforced elbows here on either side. Uh, buttons for your your cuff right here. For as old as this jacket is, I'm not even sure exactly how old it is. The camo pattern on this thing is still superb, and I, I love it. A lot of really light greens. Now, the one thing is, um, it does on the back have these little... Um, adjuster things for the back to keep it up tight against you. I know my my dad was in the Air Force from 94 to 2009. A lot of his BDUs that he started out with had these clamp, these little button things right here. And some of them didn't. I don't know when they switched over from that. But this is a look at the M81 like BDU field jacket. Now, the one I bought at Goodwill yesterday, okay, five bucks. The Army Navy surplus store wanted twenty-two dollars. This one's got some differences to it. A different material. It's not ripstop. Okay, I cannot read what any of the tags say on the jacket. Okay, it is in a little bit better condition. Again, same configuration. Four pockets on the jacket. Oh yeah, they do have pinholes right here for you to put a little pin that slips down inside there okay but the inside of this jacket is green okay compared to this one and like this is white okay like I'm used to seeing all right um but this jacket it's like a different style material I don't know if it's a Rothko the collars a little bit different it's not like um you know as thin as that one is I guess if I fold it down right, it would be. But just the overall design of the collar 
is completely different from that one. So I don't even know if this was Rothko, proper, general issue, what. But there are a few little uh, holes right here in this thing. And I'm going to take the pants that I have that are extremely faded. I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to make a patch. Or I'm just going to put some of those adhesive uh, UCP patches on the inside of these. Which will be perfectly fine. I plan on wearing this hunting. And the jacket's in a little bit better condition than this one right here. Although the camo on this one, the green stands out a lot more, which I really, really like. But guys, for $5.99 for that, and it says it's a large, but I tried it on more like a medium. I mean, it fits decent for me. I mean, being a medium, it'll fit me good. Um, again, button closures on the inside here. The one thing it doesn't have is the adjustment thingies right here on the side there is no adjustment thingies on the side at all and I was I was just more wondering about it because I didn't know you know if like any of the difference why why this was it's not ripstop okay like I said it's just a different material <laughs> If you guys know any more about it, hey, let me know. Same configuration, you know, it's got, like I said before, got the little button things on the side. Um, and uh, some of the U.S. Air Force issued ones that my dad had, the cuffs were bigger. The cuff things right here were a lot wider than these two. So uh, just a look at the, uh, the M81, you know, uh, BDU, Woodland Camo jacket. I really like this jacket. I mean, it's stood the test of time. Still a great camo pattern. Um, and I I just really like this jacket. And I was actually excited to find one for six bucks that actually fit me at Goodwill. So guys, again, I got like three little holes right here I'm going to have to patch up in there. and But other than that, I really think it's a nice jacket. Something that you know, I had from my dad when he was in the Air Force and they switched over to the Tiger Stripe camo and I got all his old stuff, you know, and I wore him hunting and all that stuff. He he had stuff that was too small for him when they got new uniforms, things like that, you know, just things like that. But I really love the Woodland BDU jackets. This one's a little beat up, but still works. Still works good. So, remember guys, Check out these jackets if you guys want one. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for joining me on this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.